early in my life i realized this fact and in fact i have written this also as a quotation you must have seen on biotechnica or somewhere and that is risk is not a risk if calculated well and many students come to me asking what does it mean and how can we grow in our biotech career and how can we avoid the risk and what all risk we should take and what all risk we should not take so today i'm going to make a short video to highlight what all risk you should take to grow your biotech career and probably next video when i'll make i'll make what all risk you should not take when planning for a biotech career okay or life science career so let's get started with the first point i'll not take much of your time we have to first know that risk is all in the head okay we feel that it is a huge risk or it's a big risk but if we are able to calculate the pros and the cons then we know whether we should go ahead with it or not so in your life ever if you feel that something is a risk all you have to do is take a white board make a table right hand side the pros of making that decision and left hand side the cons of making that decision and wherever the pros outweighs the cons you can obviously make that decision well so today i am here to tell you about the five pointers about the risks which you should take if you want to grow your career in the biotech sector so so the first thing will be switching to a new domain now that's a risk because all your life throughout your academia or your experience level you know you have done something else and now suddenly it's no longer trending and something new is trending and you're like if i switch my prior experience will go waste correct well that's not true let me give you example so you have been taught molecular biology you know all the wet lab stuff in your career throughout right but suddenly now if fry lab stuff is coming like bioinformatics computational biology or biostatistics many related stuff aiml you'll be like what if i'm i don't succeed what if i take that risk and i don't succeed there's no harm in trying the first thing the second thing is even if you fail you will lose a few thousand rupees but if you succeed you will achieve millions of dollars the how do you achieve because over a period of time in the next 30 40 years 50 years these technologies are going to not just trend but going to become the tradition of the industry so changing your sub domain not the entire domain i'm saying sub domain in biotech from say qa qc to ai ml or bioinformatics to computational biology it's not a problem okay or changing it back from computational biology to molecular biology it's not a big risk you should take if you're getting the right opportunity right Now moving ahead to the second risk which you should not take is investing in continuous learning and education. Now the education treadmill right you pass through the college education treadmill and then there is a job treadmill right so you get out of that and you get into the job treadmill so once you are in the education treadmill you feel bored of studies and when you are into the job treadmill you feel bored of the work which you have to do repeatedly every day right so both the cases boredom will always be there but if you want to grow in your career in your life and earn more money then you will have to take one risk and that is learning new things right so you may be expert of my microbiology you, you should learn other stuff also right i have example he is the director of one of the largest medical college okay one of the largest medical college in north india and he is a director and he has okay he is a clinician he is a director he has enrolled into ai ml in biology program in biotechnica and is now doing a project with us imagine why at that age of 45 50 he has to do that because he wants to stay relevant because he wants to grow because he wants to pass this on to the next generation right so he he is doing that so learning investing in learning and continuous education never goes waste right i'll give you example when i came into biotechnica and i was working i did new coding i learned it first i self taught then i failed and then i hired some people who who taught me slowly i improved on that and today i am able to do multiple things right so it helps you somewhere one or the other way i was an expert in molecular biology but now today if you ask me microbiology i have learned that as well so over a period of time learning and not just the academic thing not that you go and enroll yourself into a degree 
degree is not what I mean to say. I mean to say continuous learning, maybe it is an on-job learning, maybe it is an off-job learning, maybe it is a temporary project, maybe it is an internship, maybe it is a, some kind of international or national project, maybe it is a startup. Do it. Learn. So that's the second risk you should take. Now the third the risk you must take while you are still pursuing your biotech degree or biotech course or biotech job, life science job is taking on leadership roles early. Now you might think that I'm not ready for a leadership role. I've just passed out or I've just got into a job. It's been just one or two years. How can I take a leadership position? This no harm. The sooner you take, the better you get. Trust me. I'll repeat. The sooner you get into leadership role, the better you will be because it improves your earning opportunity. Suppose you're working as an as executive level. Reach out to your team lead or CEO. Say that you give me your responsibilities. I'll take it up. You volunteer. I will do it. So when the management or the top level sees that you are taking, initially they'll burden you with work. Okay, that is true. But when they will see that you are able to manage it, then they will give you a leadership position. And when you get a leadership position, that's where the salary grows. So do not hesitate in taking on the leadership positions early in your life science career. If you, And that's something which you should feel that is not a risk. It's a hesitation actually. Taking on leadership role is not a risk at all. It's just a hesitation in your head. Kill it and take it. Okay. Now moving on to the fourth risk which you should take while you are in a biotech course or degree or a job. And that will be relocating for a better opportunity or relocating into the pocket. So I, in my one of my videos I have met where I have said 12 biotech hubs are there in this world, right? You have to be near to any one of these biotech hubs. Then only you can get jobs, right? So relocating to a city where biotech life sciences jobs are in plenty is where you should be and then you can get those jobs easily so that's something it's not a risk at all you might feel that hey i am born in this city how can i move see did you choose that city where you were born you didn't right so it's just that you are comfortable with that city doesn't make it the best city it's just that the opportunities may sit in some other city so get out of your comfort zone and take that job moving ahead the fifth one and the final one which i have for you and very important one is Never ever hesitate in working in a startup or a small company. All of you I know, all of you want to work in big pharma companies, big biotech companies. But do you think they will take you? No, because there are many other people also applying and they might be experienced, right? And then you come back saying, freshers ko job nahi milta. The truth is, freshers can get a job if they start with a startup, right? Startups really take freshers. Startups give good salary. Startups retain talent. Startups give you better leadership opportunities. In startup, you get a chance to directly interact with the CEO and learn leadership ability. And once you have gained experience, you can always move on to a bigger company. It doesn't matter. But if you want to work in a startup, then you have to be in that startup hub also and reach out through LinkedIn or networking, whatever. So these are the five risks which you should take early in your career so that you can grow in your life sciences and biotech career. Now, please do not follow what your seniors did. Please do not follow what is a prescribed format because that way you will get limited job opportunities, limited output. Instead, do something different, better and new. And that is where these five risks you should definitely take. Okay? In my next video, I'll definitely make another video where I will discuss top five risks which you should never take when you are pursuing your life science career. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Take care.